Welcome to the Dankest Dungeon. Today we're playing another commander game. This time we're just bringing whatever decks we would like to bring. This is going to be a spicy game on our spice meter power level ranking. So we're going to have some restrictions on deck building with all cards needing to be under $20 each, with the exception of three cards being allowed to be over that budget. So them's the rules. Let's get into the game. Hey, my name's Jason, and today I'm playing a Minotaur the Fate Shifter. What I'm looking to do here is mill everyone out with Altar of the Brood, or ping everyone to death with Corpse Knight. Hi, I'm Eddie, and today we're playing Feldergriff, the Happy Purple Hippo. And the whole point of the deck, we're gonna give out a bunch of free hugs today. It's all about love here. Hey everybody, it's Corbin. Today we are playing Mono Green Storm uh, with Jugen the Rising Star. The uh, whole point of the deck is to kill Jugen a million times because he's used to it and put all his counters on a, uh, we'll call him a Mana Chad, like Morrowind or Viridian Joiner. Once you get oodles of mana, I don't know, you use some combo, win the game. If all else fails, I'll just cast Hurricane and kill everybody, so it'll be great. Hey, it's Matt. Uh, I am playing Ishai and Togo today, or Togo or something. I don't know, Goblins with Rocks. I wanted to build a deck around the card I'll be one, and I kind of succeeded. Uh, it is perhaps more of a Clock of Omens deck, but we're gonna try to match those two things together and hopefully come out on top. Are we rolling? Yeah, we're gonna roll, everybody. Let's grab our dice and roll them. I got an eight. Seven. Six. Four. I did it. I'm gonna keep this end. I forgot to tell everybody this deck was budget. This deck is budget. Yeah, I think it was like 60 bucks on Oxfield yeah. when I looked at it. <laughs> no. All right, so I'm gonna keep my first seven. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to regret it. I'm at six. Okay, we'll keep. All right, I'm gonna take my first turn, everyone. I'm gonna start off by paying two life. Jataxian Probe. I'll look at Corbin's. Sure. You wanna show the camera too? Oh, sure, why not? Don't look at the screen, guys. Yeah. Yeah, boy, it was just mad immediately. <laughs> The villain. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a card. I'll play a Caves of Koilos and I'll pass my turn. <laughs> wow, that's a card. Uh, Temple Garden tapped. Pass the turn. I will draw. I will also play a tapped land. Hickory Woodlot. It comes in with two depletion counters. It will die one day. I'll pass. Uh, I have a basic island and I will pass. End of your turn, I'll tap this for a white, losing another life. Play in Lion Tutor. I'm gonna put a Soul Ring on top of my deck. Weak, weak sauce. Soul Ring's gonna go on top. I will untap, draw. I'm gonna play a City of Brass. I will pay one colorless for a Soul Ring. Pay two colorless for a Felwar Stone. I will pay. Stop. One blue, because of Matt, and one for Omen of the Sea. All right, so I pay life for that. And what does this card do? <laughs> Scry two, then draw a card. That sounds good. I'm gonna put one on top, one on the bottom, and then draw it. And I'll be done. Planes, and uh, pass the turn. Forest. I will create two green and remove a depletion counter from Hickory Woodlot. We will cast Kami of Whispered Hopes. Uh, it is a one one. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a permanent that I control, that many plus one are put on there instead. And then I can tap it for X man of any color where X is his power. He gonna get swole. That's one of the outlets you were talking about. Yeah, mana chads, yeah. cause they're not dorks. Well, he's a dork right now, but he'll go, he'll get learned. He has aspirations. Yeah. Oh, I went to college. I gotta go to my turn. <laughs> I am going to play face down, Seagate Reborn, paying no life. And so defense comes mode. Yeah, based on defense mode, pass the turn. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shout outs at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and commenting down below all help as well and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. All right, I'm gonna untap and draw a card. Let's go ahead and lose a bunch of life. <laughs> or two life. That's a bunch. No, just taking a shock land every turn. Drop her out. She starts with three. 
And I'm going to plus one her to draw a card, then put a card from my hand on top of my library. Let's put that one back on top. And I'll pass. Oh wow, a card. We'll play a forest. We're going to pay three for a cultivate. That's not a cultivate. Perfect. Cultivate. Okay. <laughs> island to field, island to hand. One's out. Draw. Uh, land for turn is going to be Hall of Oracles. Do I say goodbye to the Hickory Woodlot? What does that do for me? Adds two mana. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, no man. problem. Uh, I'll play. One, I'll tap one for an Elvish Mystic. Guess I just do that because, like, whatever. Goodbye. Uh, four mana. I'm gonna cast Rampant Rejuvenator. Uh, it will come into play with two plus one plus one counters on it. When it dies, uh, I search my library for up to eight basic or X basic land cards where X is this bro's power, and then I put them onto the battlefield. Look at that! Boom! I'll pass. Draw. I have a training center. I have at least two opponents. I'm going to fabricate, and <clears throat> only a mere two and a half turns behind Jason, I'm going to go find a soul ring. Gaze upon my soul ring in despair. I will put it into my hand and pass the turn. I'm going to untap my cards and draw a card. I looked at that card again. I'm going to go ahead and minus Aminatu. Exile another target permanent I control, and then return to the battlefield. I'm going to scry two and draw a card. I'll leave those both on top, I'll draw this. The land for turn will be in Iganjo, Seat of the Empire. I will attempt to Grim Tutor. I'll float one, and I'll lose two life, and then another three two life. More. Three more. Oh, Grim Tutor's three, not two. That's right. And I'm gonna grab a card. I'll pay two white and use the one floating to grasp a fate. Oh, sure. We're gonna grab him. Sure. I'll pass. Island. Fell the grip. Yo. Go ahead. I'm gonna go to combat. Kami of Whispered Hopes is gonna learn the child something. How much is that? One. All right, so far. Down to two. Giant growth, got him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, main phase two. Yep. I'm gonna cast the Viridian Joiner. Add green to your mana pool equal to its power. I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Yeah, all right. We do get to hit our fourth land drop. I'm gonna play Marsh Flats and I'm immediately going to send it away. I'm gonna find Sacred Foundry and pay the iron price. Put in the plan tapped. I'm gonna add a blue and cast the soul ring that y'all knew about. I am then going to pay one, two, three, and two more life to cast Phyrexine Metamorph. Nice. It's another soul ring. This man is pretty cool. One, two, three. Cast Trophy Mage. Trophy Mage enters the battlefield. You can search your library for an artifact that has mana value three. Exactly. I'm gonna find the best card in my deck, Vexing Puzzle Box, and I'm gonna put it into my hand, and I will pass the turn. I will untap and draw a card. Let's go ahead and plus Aminatu. I'm gonna put this card I just drew previously back on top. I do not want that. I do want this one though. I'll play Marsh Flats. Let's see. Silence. I will pay one for Altar of the Brood. Four. Felidar Guardian. So when Felidar Guardian comes into play, you each mill one. Yep. Also, trigger goes on the stack There's to no bounce Aminatu. She bounces, comes back in with three. You each mill one when she comes in. And then I will minus one to bounce Felidar Guardian, and I will repeat that until you guys are milled out. Did it work? Yeah. Did I win? Yeah. Oh, I won a game, that's neat. That's Let's go to game two. Yeah, we'll have to stop that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that game was really short. What do you say we go ahead and play another? So everybody ready? Right. Yeah. Let's roll. I didn't keep Seven. Going. Seven. Eleven. Four. Okay. You don't get to go last, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. So as you can see here, this camera pointed at Corbin and Matt decided to get a little wild with it this game. The original footage actually looked like this somehow, and I was able to clean it up to this. So hey, be grateful. It could be even worse. I will keep. Don't think I could keep this. Do I keep this one lander? Oh, I'm not keeping. I'm also gonna mulligan. I'll keep. Yeah, I suppose this is fine. Um, yeah, I'll keep this, it's fine. Forest, bastard. Misty Rainforest. I'm gonna fetch and get the Trion. Uh, Rock Ring Trion, pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card. Let's go ahead and start off again with Jutaxian Pro for two life. We'll target Matthew this time. Yeah. All right, no one look at the screen. <laughs> this is Matt's hand, everyone. <laughs> I forgot to swap that one up for the English version. Then I guess I'll play a land. Seems pretty good. I'm just gonna play a watery grave. Tap, yeah. though. Oh, look at that. Forest, everyone's favorite aviator. I don't Go. think that's a thing, but all right, I'll draw. Uh, two mana, moss diamond, tapped, and then I'll pass. 
I will untap and draw for the turn. Cool. I have an exotic orchard. Look at all that exotic. Pass the turn. Untap my watery grave. Draw a card. Play a sea of clouds. Play a talisman of hierarchy. And I will pass my turn. Planes. Faber Welder. Eat. All the mana. Go ahead. Uh, he has a delay, everyone. I have a delay in my <laughs> hand. Do you want to use that on that or do you want to save it for Amino too? I can let you oh, go now. I don't have Intruder Alarm. I don't care. You can have that later. Okay. Delay. Okay. Uh, forest into Rampant Rejuvenator. He's back. I'll pass. Untap. Draw. Land for turn is Academy Ruin. Taps for Colas. I can pay one on a blue and tap it. Put an artifact from my graveyard on top of my library. Pass the turn. On tap and draw. Play a City of Brass for turn. My exotic orchard thanks you for your service. Sure. A black or a dark ritual to add three black. And then I'll add three for Bolas' Citadel. Strong um, dislike, should save that delay. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may play the top card of the library and you can pay life to cast it equal to its uh, mana value instead of paying mana. Look at the top. I will pay two life or a Baleful Strix. When he enters the battlefield, I draw a card. He has Flying and Death Touch. He's a 1-1. Also an Owl, which is pretty cool. Look at the top. All right, I'll leave that on top and I'll pass. Play a forest. Planes for a Spur Mage Advocate. Excuse a me? What? <laughs> Spurn Mage I Advocate. Spurn. <laughs> I said Spur Mage. Spurn. Push away. <laughs> Would you like to read it for the class? Because no Don't read the name again. Does. Just read the rest. <laughs> Return two target cards in an opponent's graveyard to their hand and then destroy target attacking creature. I'm just going to get some new hands. We're going to windfall. Okay. Uh, forest, Orin Reef, the Vastwood, Dread, Linnorm, Visions of Dominance, and Snakeskinville. Clock of Omens, Valkyrie Awakening, and four lands. Iganjo, Dovin's Veto, Serum Snare, Windfall, and Swan Song. I had two yeah. planes and a Jace Bellerin, and that is all I have. Uh, we'll go to combat. I'll attack Jason for two. Does that guy want to die? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll take two. Soul Ring, and I'm going to play... Cradle Clear Cutter for its prototype cost. So it's a 1-3. I can tap it to add an amount of green equal to its power. Two mana. I will cast Evolutionary Leap. I can pay a green and sacrifice a creature to reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal a creature card. Put, the, put that card in my hand, the rest on the bottom in a rando order. Oh, pass. At the end of your turn, I'm going to activate Academy Ruins, targeting the only artifact in my graveyard, Clock of Omens. I'm putting it on top of my library. I'll go to my turn. I'm going to pay two life to put Sacred Foundry into play untapped, and I'll tap it for mana this time. Uh, I'm going to play Everflowing Chalice kicked twice. We'll come into play with two charge counters, and it will tap our colorless for each charge counter. Speaking of tapping for two colorless, I'm going to tap it for two colorless, and I'm going to play Arcane Signet. And I'll pass the turn. End of your turn. Yep. I'm going to pay one life to cast Vampire Tutor. When I cast it, I will lose two more. This card will go on top, and I'll go to my turn. I will untap. I'll draw my first card. I will reveal Temporal Mastery. So it's the first card I drew this turn, so I could pay it for its miracle cost of one blue and one. I'll do that. So I'll take an extra turn after this one. I'll look at the top of my deck, pay two life for Omen of the Sea. I will scry two and draw one. One on top, one on the bottom. Pay one to Brainstorm. Draw three, put two back. I'll look at the top, it's Command Tower. I will play that. I will look at the top, I will pay two for a Wish Call Talisman. Yep. I will look at the top and not do anything with that. Pay three, losing one life for Amanatu. Comes in with three counters. I'll bounce Omen of the Sea. So mm -hmm. I'll scry two, draw one. One on top, one on the bottom. I will pay two life for Archivist of Agma. Combat. I'll swing at Corbin for one. Sure. And then I will go to my next turn, look at the top, pay two for a Talisman of Dominance, look at the top, I will play a Godless Shrine untapped. Look at the top, I'll play an Azorius Signet, and I will chill. Activate Wish Call Talisman, I will give it to Matt, and I'm gonna look for a card. And then I'll do the thing again. Neat. Yeah, very neat. Alter the Brood, I will cast Followed Our Guardian again. So you'll each mill one. I will target Aminatu. And she will re Yep. I will sort the plowshares, your Felidar Guardian. In response, I will ephemerate Felidar Guardian. Yep. You each mill one, and then the cycle will continue. Yep. And I am able to pull off another decisive victory with Aminatu. There might have been a little power imbalance here at the table with Corbin bringing a 
60-ish, 70-ish dollar deck, and Eddie playing a group hug deck, although I do know his deck can combo off, and he said he was really close in one of these games. I do hope you enjoy those games, and hope to see you next time. See ya.